In this video, I'm going to be turning pumpkins into two different prehistoric animals from these ones with a real one into this. So I've chosen to carve the T Rex and the um, Spinodon from Prehistoric Planet 2 and Life on Our Planet. Let's get the video going in 3, 2, 1. <sighs> I'm in love with dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. There's just something about these giants of the Mesozoic Era and the Cenozoic Era too. But in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how I carve the saber-toothed cat from Life on Our Planet and the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Prehistoric Planet 2. I'll be using two different creatures from two different time periods of Earth's history to give people an understanding of my methods on pumpkin carving, especially for Halloween, to celebrate the Future is Prehistoric Season 1 with two Halloween films, Dinosaurs of the Dark Web and The Raptors Redemption. So, let's get started. In order to have the perfect pumpkin carving, first you can either cut a hole from the top or at the bottom. Now I have learned a new life hack and that is to carve a little notch on top of the pumpkins and then and it doesn't fall off in place while the pumpkin is still being carved. Now, all you have to do is just basically what everyone needs to do, and that is to empty the insides of the pumpkin, including all the juice, the seeds, and the guts of the pumpkin. Once you got all the seeds out, you have to pick the perfect drawing for your pumpkin. Now I traced out the shapes of the T-Rex's head and the Smilodon's head. By using two different images, trace them from my um, laptop screen with a blank sheet of paper. And then all you have to do is just draw out the shape of the specific animal you like to carve out for the pumpkin. And make sure you check out the previous Halloween pumpkin carving video on the Jurassic World Dominion logo. In order to have like the drawing or pretty much the cutouts that you have made, make sure to pin those with thumbtacks so then you have some sort of idea on how the drawing's gonna stay in that particular position and then just draw around it with a pen of your choice. I'm using the Jurassic World Giga vs T-Rex pen from the Jurassic World World's stationary kit to celebrate Jurassic World Dominion. After everything is practically drawn into place, I then think this is where the fun begins, is to cut out the edges of these animals' faces by using the small saw and the larger saw. Now roll the carving montage.
after everything has been cut out, here's the final pumpkin design that I choose to celebrate the future of prehistoric season 1 and prehistoric planet season 2 and season 1 of life on our planet with Morgan Freeman. Here's the pumpkin montage. So this pumpkin took me like an um, hour to clean the um, T-Rex and the saber-toothed cat. The reason that I did these two prehistoric animals, that one represents the Mesozoic era and the other one for the Cenozoic era. And it is also and to celebrate the brand new dinosaur documentary series that just came out on Netflix called Life on Our Planet and there's a particular sequence where a pair of saber-toothed cats called Smilodon and they hunt in a, a species of terror bird called Titanus and they work together in order to kill their prey with their massive fangs aiming from the neck areas to make the animal die and bleed to death and that's why the design of the um, Smilodon from the show is one of my favourites uh, to carve it. I actually carved the first animal from like the Sanzoic era I ever done and I've carved dinosaurs in the past like the T-Rex, I've carved the Jurassic World Dominion logo T-Rex for um, Halloween last year and I did the Dozen Rex from Arms of World Falls in 2021 and this is like my passion for like dinosaur art through Halloween and these are the perfect animals to carve. And another thing I want to talk about is that this the sign is based off the um, accurate representation of the um, T-Rex from Prehistoric uh, Planet 2. Last year I didn't have a chance to do it because there wasn't enough pumpkins to like carve and stuff. But I managed to like pick a design from the show and then I traced it with a um, Jurassic World themed pen, you know, the Gecko vs T-Rex, that's what I did here and um, I added some like lips, a pair of carrots and crests and an eyeball so then if you turn off the lights you would definitely see that amount of light effect that is going on with the um, pumpkin itself and that's why I chose the um, T-Rex from Prehistoric Planet 2. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a brand new video on the Dinosaurus Genius YouTube channel. And I am really, really close to get to 1,000 subscribers. Now I am going to be so excited for a thousand subscribers because this means a lot to me because I've done so many dinosaur videos over the past two years on YouTube by creating short films, documentary series and even in different types of videos on YouTube shorts and that's gained a lot of views especially your world versus my world our condition that's gone really viral with over a thousand likes and 27,000 views in total that makes me so proud and I hopefully this video will be popular as well 
and uh, this clearly means a lot to me. This is Jacob Mars from Dinosaurs Jr. and Simba from the Lion King. And remember, our future can still be prehistoric in filmmaking. This is Jacob Miles. Peace out. And I hope you enjoy a nice Christmas coming because there's going to be Christmas films coming and one particularly is an anime film about a woolly mammoth separating its herd and tells like the origins of the mammoths of Ark. So, so anyways, I hope you had a nice Halloween. Peace out.